Okay, we are uh, doing um, in our taxation book chapter 7, and we're going to do application problem 12 on page 186. Uh, we have Irwin Company, a calendar year taxpayer, made only two purchases at appreciable percent. Not only this year, the first purchase was five year recovery property costing $312,800. And the second purchase was seven-year recovery property costing $574,000. Compute Irwin's first-year maker's depreciation with respect to the property, assuming that, okay, so under A, the first purchase occurred on February 2nd, and the second purchase occurred on June 18th. So they were both in the first quarter. So we're going to use our normal mid-year um, mid maker's table. So we can find that uh, table on page 169. So to calculate it, my cost, I'm going to equal uh, for first one, 312,800. Looking at my table for a five-year property, this first year is 20%. So we're going to take it times 0.20. And that gives us $62,560 of uh, the depreciation deduction for our first asset in year one. My second piece of property is going to be, uh, we're using a seven year recovery period. So looking at that table, seven year is going to be 14.29%. So. I'm going to take my cost of 574,000 times my rate of 0.1429%. So my depreciation for the second asset in year one is going to be 82,025. Okay, again, this is going to give us a different book value for our, than what our financial statement recording is going to be. So that is part A. If we look at then part B, Part B, we change the assumption and we say that the first purchase occurred in February 2nd, so that hasn't changed, but the second purchase occurred on October 13th, and that puts us into the fourth quarter. So we need to check to see if we're going to have a mid-quarter uh, exception apply. First of all, our total assets is equal to... Um, are 312,800 plus our 574,000. Okay, so our total is 886,800. Of that, we placed 574,000 into service in the fourth quarter. So we need to check to see if that reaches our 40% rule, which ah, it does. We need to round that out. Okay, so we've got 64% of it, almost 65%. Here, we'll do it 65% is in the uh, fourth quarter. So, therefore, we need to use a mid quarter um, depreciation table. So, we find that on page uh, the appendix 7A. So, we find that on page 193 and that will tell us our mid-quarter conventions. Okay, and if you're not, if you don't have that book handy, you can obviously find these tables at IRS Gov, of course. So we do it this way. Our first property then is going to be our depreciation. It's still going to be our cost basis is the same, three hundred twelve thousand eight hundred. But we're going to take it times a rate in the first year of thirty-five percent. So times 0.35. So that's our mid-quarter in the first because it's been placed in the court service in the first quarter. Our depreciation is 109,000, um, 109,480. Our mid-quarter convention then, if we go to our chart on page 195, it's going to be used for the second one because that's what's our mid-quarter convention for business property placed into service in the fourth quarter. So, and it's a seven-year property. My rate then is going to be only 3.57%. Uh, so 
0.357 times my asset cost of 574,000 gives me depreciation in the first whoops yeah, did something wrong there. Point three, oh, point zero. So you got to watch your decimal points. Point zero three five seven. So I have twenty thousand four hundred ninety two of depreciation that we're going to use on that asset. Again, based on that mid quarter uh, placement table. So if we have lots of different property and more than uh, forty one percent is in in the first year or in the fourth quarter, then we need to change it and do our mid-quarter instead of our normal maker's table of a half-year convention. And that is it for this particular problem.